What's up guys, my name is Iziel and this is Blanco. Now I've actually tried recording this several times so far, unfortunately I did end up losing my footage for it already, but uh, it's worth enough that I could play it again, I don't mind it too badly. Um, but it's a game that I found on Game Jolt by uh, 51 Pegasi Studios. And the game is very interesting. It looks kind of like a Mario 64 kind of game. Um, if you can see up in this top corner, it's these gems. I've already actually played a little bit when I was recording it earlier. And I've played through it twice technically to record it so far. But uh, um, those gems will come in handy later uh, when I get into the game. I'll have a little bit of extra stuff that I can get with those. But I'm happy that I still have them because then I can still use them. I don't have to, like last time I had to farm to get to that point just so I can get them. And it wasn't like a heavy farming or anything. It just, it would really suck to have to do it all over again. So, um, and I only got that high because I had to record it twice. But uh, I'm going to go to the intro. That and the music is really nice. I like the music a lot. As each of us grow up, we embark on a journey, a journey to find our color. Oh, okay, Papa Blocks. Most are assigned one by their name. I was named Blue, so I went to find Blue. But I have decided to give you your own choice for this generation. Blanco. But that's like, you shall embark on the quest tomorrow. That's just white. Be safe, and always remember to come back if you need anything. Yeah, so it looks like, it looks almost like a Minecrafty looking Mario 64. I mean, you'll see when you, when I get to the first level, but like it, it, it the first level takes you right into like the first level of Mario 64, I feel. Um, and then of course, obviously with all the blocky nature, it looks like Minecraftish. But I do wonder where this game's really gonna go um, as far as everything else. Like it looks like it's the start of a game that would actually be really fun to play. I actually really like this type of like game as, as itself. Um, I don't really know what you'd really wanna call it. Maybe like an adventure game or something like that, but I enjoy this whole like stage levels and whatnot. When free roaming stage level kind of setup. Um, but yeah, so far they only got like the first level or first world and then they have that world there. I don't know if that really counts as the second world or not, but I'm gonna go in here. Oh, you know what? I already have the gems though, so let me go over here to the store. Because I only just had enough gems due to the fact that I played through twice. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to buy a hat. And because I know that's what the top hat looks like, I'm going to go with the duck hat. Wait. Oh, is that the hat up there? Well, what just happened to my camera? Oh, those are the three hats, huh? Wow. Well, now that I know they all look like that, I'm definitely going to go with the, the... I guess I want to go with the top hat, to be honest. I mean... The, the wizard hat is just a triangle, and that doesn't look like a duck at all. I don't even know how that works. I think I'm going to just stick with the top hat. Never mind. I, I take it back. I want the top hat. If I get enough gems, maybe I'll get the duck hat and try it out later. But for now, I, I, I feel good with this. There we go. Okay, let's get out to the first world with my awesome little trot. Yeah, this level here, it, it just takes me right back into Mario 64. Which I absolutely would love. And I don't even know if I might actually do a playthrough a little bit of one of uh, Mario 64. I don't know if I'd play through fully, but I would at least like to go and like just do like a speed run, see how far I could really get to. But it has like such a bubbly, like fun attitude to it. Everything is dancing. You know a game is bubbly when trees are just jamming for being trees. And they have nothing good like going for them at all.
I will say it has been a second since I did when I did the first recording, or the second, I guess, recording, you could say. I don't remember exactly completely what my objective was. I mean, I get the overall gist of it. I just don't remember exactly where everything was anymore. Not that it should take that long for me to remember, but... Oh, Jesus, I forgot about you. Ooh. Couldn't get me quick enough. You gotta be quicker than that. No, 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 no. I still don't know. I, I think that's like a knight of some sort, but... Um, they have the ability to attack. Like, you can... What is it? There we go. A kick? I don't know how to successfully line that up with any animal, any enemy of any kind. And so I just... Ah, come on. Get out of here, you. Don't stop this. I also don't know how to really heal, so I don't think... There's a chance I may die. Preferably if I do, though, I die at a spot where I can easily get right back. Also, when I first played it, I did not realize... Oh, Jesus. I did not realize that that was like a teleporter. So I spent the whole like first 10 minutes just searching for where I was supposed to go on the main uh, in like the lobby area. Have trouble jumping, trouble reaching tall areas? Try holding jump again immediately after reaching the ground during the first jump to do a second jump. Listen now, be easy, okay? No, 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 not you again. Ah, that's what you get. Bitch. You weren't ready for that. This is what you get. I still don't get, like, why, I mean, well, I guess maybe, you know, when you're just an animal and you're just acting on animal instinct to do whatever it is, um, yeah, you probably might just randomly attack some random blocky looking creature that looks like this, but I mean, why the other guys hate me so badly, like, I don't look like the type who really does anything at all, let alone do something incriminating enough to have knights trying to thrust me through the chest, impale me and hang like my head up on like the royal court walls and whatnot. And I hate that there's so many of you guys, because you're so relentless at getting me. Okay, let's see if I can line this up. Uh, maybe here? Ooh. Nice. Oh, Jesus. Ooh. Nope. Yes! <laughs> you got a super gem. I actually have nine of those. Hey, my hat's gone. At what point did my hat disappear? Was my hat not there during that whole time? Or, wait, maybe it was and I just don't... I don't even know. I, I forget now. I don't even feel like I saw it the whole time. Okay, all to the graveyard zone. Ah, Jesus! See, I can't even tie it, line it up with him and he moves slow. They expect me to do it with this guy. Oh. Well then. <laughs> Put my top hat on. I'm feeling quite dapper after that maneuver. So far though, I don't see any other reason to collect these besides to get a new hat. And, I mean, you know, it's just a demo. So maybe, you know, in the not demo, you can not only get a hat, and you can get something that is other. Oh, Jesus! Come on. Ah! Get out of here! Oh, why won't you just leave me alone? What have I ever done to you? Do 
she's still chasing me. Ah, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh. I <laughs> ah, knocked my hat off. Leave me alone, please. I've done nothing to deserve your hatred. Your undying hatred. Oh, two of them. Come on, seriously? No, 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 no. No, no, I just want to open up these objects here. Oh! <laughs> I did not know I could do that. Lovely. That makes things way easier. Can I get you? Ah, Jesus! Okay, alright. No! One hit? Ah! Okay, so clearly that only works for those guys. But that is way easier than trying to kick them. Because I don't even know how I kicked that first one. That was like a glitch of some sort. I don't know what that does. Oh! oh I should have got you from up there. I got you now. What? Ah! What is he indestructible? This is BS! Get out of here. You are nothing to me now. Oh, I don't even have my bombs anymore. Damn it. Apparently, I just cannot stop those guys at all. So I'm just going to leave them alone. Let them do what they want to do. Stop making myself look like I don't know how to freaking play. Did I get this one? Oh, okay. Just gonna super bomb the hell out of everything. Bam! Oh, it's a button. Oh, come on! This isn't fair! Get away! Get away! Oh! Hey, you're gonna pop me up right on the skeleton, Jesus. Ooh, wait a minute. Ah, Jesus! <laughs> Will you leave me alone? Why do you wanna hurt me so? I, I still don't know what these things are. I assume they are just spikes. I don't want anything to do with them, whether they were spikes or not. They definitely don't look like anything I'd be interested in messing with. I don't know why I care enough to try and get those. But I like how into these levels get. I mean, it seems, at least with this one, this one gets like a lot more. Oh, that is a bad camera angle to start with. This one gets a lot more intense than the other level, and you go really deep and far into this level to do a lot of things. Oh. Is that a secret? Hope it was a secret, but I mean, I feel like it's probably just more of a bug. Probably a bug. What is my purpose, anyway? What am I even here for? What am I doing? I mean, I know he told me I had to go find my color, but, like, I think, you know, if anything... Like, I could be doing a lot. I mean, what is, there's not even anything really wrong with being white. I mean, if I just stay white, I could just be... I don't, I don't know. I guess not other colors. That isn't really a, 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 a... I'm just gonna leave it alone. Stay back!
Oh, hello. Ooh, I was not expecting that to come out right there. I forgot just how far that level actually goes. And I got a super gym, which means I have 10. And I think I may not have any more else I can go. I'll definitely double check, but I'm pretty sure that might be the end of it for me. I don't think there's anywhere else they let you go in the demo. No, doesn't look like it. Well, so that is Blanco. Um, yeah, it, I mean, the game does look it looks like once they do actually get it finished, or at least, I don't know if it, I mean, I imagine it's got to be pretty finished if they have a demo, but maybe the demo is just like a, I don't know, I don't know how that whole, like, game development process works. For all I know, they still have a lot of things to add to the game, and the demo is just to kind of test it. Or the game's complete already, and this is pretty much it. But they can always still add to it later, or, you know, add to it when they make a new game, or whatever the case is, I don't really know. It's up to them. I'd still play it. Despite that, possibly, maybe. But I feel like at the end of the day, it would probably just make me really want to play Mario 64. So, if it does have some new things that, like, Mario 64 doesn't add, like, I mean, I can't change my hat in Mario 64, at least not without, like, probably mod support, but, um, yeah, anything of that level. If it can add something, like, extra, to that kind of experience, I would definitely give it a try. Um, I may actually do a playthrough of it when it. I, uh, I didn't see anything but the demo on there, so I mean, I don't know if the actual full game is out. It could be. I, maybe I wasn't paying attention. But if it is, maybe I might actually do another playthrough of that, uh, depending on, I guess, how I feel at that time. So uh, until then, I guess this is pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya. <laughs>